It's all about you doing more of the things that makes you feel absolutely wonderful in the way that you dress, the way that you think. But today we're going to be talking about 11 tips of how through style confidence you can improve your confidence through your style. Part of your confidence and your style is connected with the way that you dress. Every day when you wake up, every day when you get dressed, it's almost like a ritual. It makes you feel good, makes you feel confident. What does that do? That is already setting the stage for the day. It's, it's about shifting yourself out of the old into the new, from being unstuck to absolutely unstoppable. If this is the kind of content that you like, then please stay in the loop and subscribe. So you can see so my name is Tanya Sutherland and I am a spiritual fashion designer as well as a holistic transformational coach so what the hell does that actually mean and so it's all about empowering yourself through finding that confidence that courage and to be consciously aware of the shifts that you have emotionally and physically that affects your day-to-day -day lives and how you can shift and change it through the way that you dress to become more confident as well as the conscious awareness of who you are right now you can even look at the chakras your chakra energies and to wear the right colors to connect with your chakras they can completely uplift your energy and take in 36 years of experience of being a fashion designer an image stylist as well as a confidence coach into becoming more holistic to help you to empower yourself through your confidence conscious thinking conscious living for you to create the best version of yourself if you resonate with giving me a share, a like, and don't forget to press the subscribe button down below. I'll make a bono look at Sade Afrikaners, a kitchen of bio leaf, and as a brief, excellent bio idea as you at work. That is right, don't be down on the truck, or make to help on my channel to help create excellent bio idea. Bye, donkey scutties. Let's get started. You know what it's like when you wear an outfit or a new outfit, something new and fresh, or you put something together that looks so friggin' amazing, or you even made it yourself, and you're walking out, and you you're walking out into the world, and you are projecting to the world. This is who I am and you feel absolutely confident. That is called fashion confidence. It's a rush of empowerment, a feeling of strength, courage. An all-around badass sensibility. Isn't that friggin' amazing? Just by an outfit. The truth is that most people don't feel wonderfully confident about themselves in the way that they dress. There could be a number of reasons. Maybe they weren't complimented enough or told that they look amazing. Or maybe they were ridiculed a lot about their body shape or their body type or their weight. Or you have a lack of fashion style make you feel less confident so confidence in a nutshell is about the more you do the more you learn the more you understand the more you invest into knowing about something especially for yourself the more confident you're going to be exactly the same with your style it's so another one would be step up and invest in your wardrobe instead of just accepting an ill-fitting wardrobe or hand-me-downs from someone else who has a different fashion personality and maybe even slightly a different body shape or clothes that are completely out of fashion it's time to find your true style so you know the whole concept about enclosed cognition the whole psychology of clothing what clothing actually does for you it actually it's fitted with the whole brain chemicals of how you feel Picture this, shifted from wearing a pair of jeans and a t-shirt into this beautiful red tailored suit. Which, When you put that red suit on, something shifts and changes from being very casual, toned down, laid back, relaxed in your jeans and t-shirt to suddenly this empowered suit that you're putting on. Immediately, your whole subconscious, your body is telling you that you are to be taken serious, that you are a professional, that you are focused, that you are career orientated. Just been a whole psychological change and shift in your psyche just by the way that you dress imagine if you imagine if you implement that every day into your lifestyle that you are wearing clothes that empower you on a from an internal emotional state as well as on an outer physical self image state dress for the best self of who you are right now it's about you dressing now in the moment it's about you living in the present and the now it's about uplifting your confidence now Go into your wardrobe and be honest with yourself. Get rid of clothes that don't fit, that don't look amazing on you, that just don't make you feel absolutely amazing.
and that don't add purpose or justice to the rest of your wardrobe. Be honest, get rid of it. It's like clutter that's holding you back. It's not uplifting or serving you. Let go of it. This one would be is you need to separate yourself and your style. So you might not be happy with your body shape. You know, sometimes we can be extremely harsh on how we see ourselves. When you look in the mirror, what are you saying about yourself? Separate how you feel about your body and your style. Body image issues can easily, many a times, it's a complete skewed vision of yourself and usually overly harsh on yourself. It's about learning to love yourself where you are right now appreciating your body as it is right now. Working on it on a daily basis can give you that extra confidence knowing that you are taking small little steps of actions every day to improve your body by diet. Or maybe you don't need to lose weight. Maybe you just don't like what you see and you are starting to change the way you see yourself, changing what you're focusing on onto all the beautiful parts of who you are. Remember, your style will evolve with you. You are growing and changing. Your careers are changing. Your lifestyle is changing. So your wardrobe is going to grow and your style is going to grow and evolve with you. So experiment and have fun. Find your style that suits you right now. Do some research. Create some design boards. Go out to malls and try on different garments you don't normally wear. Wearing in different, in different ways, different looks, different colors. Take some photographs. It's about a research. It's about self-investing in your style as well as the and confidence will give you that extra courage for you to take on so much more, to create so much more, for you stepping in to becoming that best version of yourself. Here's another big no. So what you should avoid is to try and dress like someone else. So kind of avoid buying exactly what your favorite influencer wears. You might have different personality, body shape, lifestyle, all those things that's happening around her. And does it really suit you? Be honest. It's not just about what you've seen. And this is what I want to wear. It's about does it really suit you? Is it really who you are? Buy and invest styles that suit you. There's nothing wrong with getting inspiration. Don't be afraid to expand your horizons around the style. So let's say you're a very sporty kind of person, but you want to sort of change it and make it a bit more vibey, or you want to add some change to it. What about taking sporty and adding a bit of chic to it? Or maybe you like a little bit of, bit of bohemian as well as a little bit of a classic sort of look together because you want to combine some pieces. You're going through a different phase or you're stepping into a new lifestyle, into a new career line, which calls for more dressy, more vibey, and now you want to step out of the way that you've always dressed. Try new trends. Create your own style evolution. It is part of your life journey. Stepping into your wardrobe, creating these new sort of trends and looks, see what you have, and create three different outfits in those combinations that you have, and see if they work for you. Take some photos. Have fun exploring this new journey of your style. The best, the best way for you to kind of identify what kind of colors would suit you best is you can do like a vein test. So when you look at your vein under natural light and you have a bit more of a green sort of undertone on your vein lines, you are more of a warm undertone. If your veins are more predominantly in a blue tone, you are more of a cool tone person, which is quite easy to sort of understand is that when you are a cool tone, all the colors that are more of a blue undertone usually are more suitable for your skin tone. If you are a warm tone, all the colors with got more reds and orange in, it is more suitable for your skin tone. So it's a, very, it's a very easy method for you to determine what colors would suit you best. So the coral colored dress that I've been wearing on the video, I'll leave the link down below. It is called Natasha. The pattern is available on my website. If you want to sew and create your own design, bringing your own colors, making the dress for yourself. Try new things and step out of your comfort zones because comfort zones is a safe barrier. You want to expand and move out of it. It's part of you growing your confidence. So remember that you are the secret source of your style. You are an individual. You are unique to who you are. You're taking through, you are bringing through your life experiences, your tastes, all the things that you've been putting together of you becoming who you are is projecting through your style the way you're combining and putting things together. 
So be unique to who you are. But there's nothing wrong with getting inspiration, having a look how other people put things together and take a little bit of this, a little bit of that and combine it into your style. But like I said, try create those different looks within your wardrobe and once you know they suit you and you're having fun with them, nothing stops you from creating an intentional shopping list to go buy more of those pieces more of those colors and designs to actually combine into your wardrobe or to create that intentional list of what you're going to be making up for yourself if you design and make your own clothes like I do. Now if you notice this little thing on my lip over here, this is because I have been in the sun non-stop, just been on a wonderful holiday in Sedwana Bay which is the north coast of Natal in South Africa. We were scuba diving, it was excessively hot. And of course, the system's a little bit run down because this school has been busy with creating new content and new courses and new books and creating an entire new collection, which will be coming up soon. You'll see all the shifts and changes and all the things I'll be launching coming up, all part of my transformation. Me And yes, me stepping out of my comfort zones as well. And maybe sometimes trying to do a little bit too much and exerting myself because I get so excited. I have to remind myself still to love myself. On that note, speak kindly to yourself and to your style. When you are trying a whole new look and you look at yourself in the mirror and you go, can I really pull this off? You know, what am I trying to do? This is not me. But you're trying something new and you feel inside your gut feeling you want to try something exciting. You kind of like this look. You've tried it on in the mall. You took some photographs. Now you're actually going to walk out the door and you're starting to like panic. Instead, say to yourself, I'm so friggin' proud of you that you've actually taken this shift, this change to try and something new and to step out and be bold and to be true to who you are in something new. It's about you opening up that subconscious state of mind that I am ready to take on new things. That comes from your spiritual self going out into the way that you're dressing. It's just all about connecting on the inner as well as the outer. Let your style, which is in your wardrobe, be your strength and your superpowers. You're stepping out into the world. Because you remember what you are wearing, clothing and style is extension of your personality. So it is saying so many words without you even whispering a sound. Let's step back into color psychology. I'll leave the link below. I'll leave the link down below of the other videos I did all about color psychology. So color psychology goes deep. We can even talk about your chakras. All those different chakras that could be blocked by wearing those colors will actually uplift your energies as well. 